Hey everyone, Ben Haggett here. I'm the Ala Prima Pashad guy. I make them, design them. Today we're going to take a look at this little guy, which is the Belly River size. It's a 6x8 Belly River Light, I guess we'd call it. I'm just going to set it up just as if I were going to do some painting, which I haven't done much of lately, but so, anyway. I kind of like to do this so I can see what's going on. I know you probably can't see that, but I'm just putting the quick release on. And I have a ball head here. It's supposed to be good to 11 pounds, so it won't even notice this guy. There you go. Box is sitting on the tripod. Probably not too level yet, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Opening the box. Little D-ring right here. And a little door. That's it. I'm going to grab right over here. It's tempting to do that. I wouldn't make a habit of doing that. I'm going to grab things where they're strong. This is strong. That is our little... I'll show you that later. Um, box opens up like so. There's a divider in here. And there's a little um, adjuster plate for the auxiliary palette. I got a couple of 6x8 panels in here. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. In. Made by my friends at Source Tech. Very good stuff. This is the panel panel holder. Um, has a lot of adjustment capability. The horizontal size is kind of unlimited. Um, it's the vertical size that's your limit. On this, you can do it. You can do it 10 inches vertically. So you can do it 8 by 10 in portrait mode. I'll just set this up with my six by eight, got a little paint on there, of course. So you can adjust it up and down. Kind of get it set in there and adjust it for level, whatever looks good to you. Um, and whatever height you want to work at, you might want to work down low, you might want to shove it up higher, up to you. I'm gonna get rid of these little guys for the moment. And I'll just put them down here. Got some brushes I'll show you. Um, this is the auxiliary palette and it stores inside and it's floating over the main palette. So you can also, you know, you can store brushes in here. Palette knives, smaller flat things and still close the box up as long as you're kind of aware of this part and this part which close into there. This is removable though, so there's quite a few little, um, quite a few options there what you can do, but let's go ahead and take this out. This is the auxiliary palette, and you can mount it on either side. It's up to you. I'm a right-hander, so I would put it on this side probably. Inside here, let's take a look at this. I'm going to take this palette knife, got some magnets, I'll put it over there. All right, the main palette, which is Baltic birch plywood, you could replace it if you like glass. I don't. <laughs> glass is heavy, breaks, it's very reflective. Um, wood is not, and it develops a very nice patina after you use it for a while. Totally removable, so it's easier to clean, and like I said, Change it out for a piece of glass or something if you like, plexiglass. With this out, you have an inch and a quarter of space, right? This in, you have an inch and an eighth. That's plenty deep enough for, if, for example, if you want to try messing around with some watercolor. If you get a palette that's the right size, a small travel palette, it'll fold up and store in here easily. And this palette holder will do fine holding a watercolor block. So it's got some crossover potential, the lid. In this case, if I was painting like this, this is how I would have it set up, but if you're a watercolorist, it'll go flat. Um, if you want to work that way, you'd probably orient yourself differently. Uh, maybe you'd come at it from, you'd completely reverse it, have your palette here, spin it, and have your paper right in front of you. Okay, let's see, another thing, if I were setting up painting, this is just a little trick. 
I'll show you a couple other things here, obviously. Let's grab these. And let's grab this. So I put a couple of holes in the auxiliary, auxiliary pallet and I also will include one of these, car a little carabiner like this. It's just an easy way to do a brush cleaner. Pallet cups obviously will, are made to clip onto a eighth inch pallet like that. So you can set up like this. This is just a little thing I sometimes like to do. I just have a little bungee cord on a partial roll of paper towels. And uh, just simple little tricks you can do to make your setup work for you the way you want to work. And I'm just showing you this for because that's something I kind of like to do. Um, not just so I can wipe brushes as I'm going and uh, my paper towels aren't going to fly all over the place. I might change that setup if it was windy and just hold one in my hand, do something different. Um, at this point, I'd be laying out paint. Um, I lay out paint in ribbons around the edge and uh, getting to work. So that's pretty much it for the setup, basic setup. Um, let me show you real quickly how the divider works. The divider is just a way of breaking up the panel storage so you can use smaller panels. In this case right now, I'm gonna set this up what I'm making it right now is five by seven is kind of a popular size. Um, it's handy in some ways. I mean, it's cute, it's little, blah, 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 but uh, it's also really easy to get uh, inexpensive pre-made frames for five by seven. It used to be a very common photo print size. So that would go in the divider, right? And store down in the lid like that. Um, when you want to get that out, you can tip the box and slide things around to make it easier. Um, this little divider does have a stop at the end, so you just pull straight up on it and it'll bring up, bring up the panel with it. So that's the divider and when you're not using it, it will store in the box on top of this. That is that part. And I'm going to show you one other thing. Some people might like to paint in a little different position, so we'll take a look at that in a sec. Okay, so one of the nice things about the infinitely adjustable lid like that, or almost infinitely anyway, is that some people, you might like to paint with your box very much more open flat and tilted, oriented more vertically so that you're looking straight at the palette. You might need to do that if the light conditions are such that you're getting a lot of direct sunlight on your palette and that's messing up your color mixing, um, any number of reasons, or you just might prefer it. That does, however, make your little auxiliary palette, if you're using it, which you certainly don't have to, but it does put it at an angle as well. That might not bug you. It depends on what you're doing um, and how you're using it. But if you do want it flatter, I just make this little support arm and that will um, help you a bit with adjusting it so that you can see that there's enough tension on it that it'll kind of stay put on its own, but you know, you can't put any weight on it in that, like that. So this little support arm would just go into that slot there. And then we'll, uh, let's see, I don't know, we'll try the number two one there maybe. I mean, it's not an infinite adjustment in that, you know, it's got little steps, so it's not going to go absolutely anywhere. But in that case, if we want to flatten it out, um, we can do that. Probably where that would make the most sense to want to do is if you're using pallet cups like that. We'll put this guy on. Um, and, uh, so you can be set up, 
you know, more like that, if you like. Nothing too elaborate, just kind of a simple solution to give you a few more options um, for getting ready to go paint. Oftentimes it's easier to break everything down with the box kind of nice and flat. That's what I would do anyway, probably. Get rid of the paper towels. Put this guy away. And take this guy apart. All right, now, you can see I'm not too careful about keeping everything perfectly level all the time, but. Um, yeah, so like I said, this palette, you can have paint laid out here and hopefully you've wiped your main palette down, but whatever, maybe you're going to do it at home. It's okay. You can leave it. This guy's going to float over it. You have three eighths inch of space when this palette is in. So that's enough for a pretty high paint pile. Um, and this guy, you're going to want to keep everything out at the edges. And like I said, I usually lay out in ribbons paint and ribbon so you can just drop this guy in and uh, he'll float above float above that stuff and then you can put a few things in like this like I said you can do you, you These brushes are not full length, obviously. I cut them down. Uh, I'll just take a knife, a sharp little knife, and do this. Like I'm kind of like sharpening a pencil. Make some little cuts and then just break it off. It's really easy. Um, just hold the, hold the brush up and mark where you're going to do it with your fingers and break. And then you can sand it. A little sandpaper to smooth it off later if you want. Um, so yeah, you can put that in there and... Uh, where did I put my divider? Where is it? If you're not using your uh, divider, um, it will fit in here. It is kind of funny because the magnets are going to make it jump around and act goofy, but it's just one of those things. This guy, I yeah, forgot to mention, up and down, obviously, but also comes off too. Notice that I'm like tipping it away. I find that easiest. They're strong magnets. If you just pull straight, you'll be like, <laughs> So just tip it, tip it off, and there you go. It's gonna go to grab anything metal. So, just so as long as you're aware of that. I think that'll close up, let's try. Yep, and we'll take it off. Tripod, back in the pack, break the tripod down and you're gone. So that is the Belly River Light. It weighs, uh, I weighed one, it was two pounds, two ounces. Two pounds, two ounces in this form. It will also, you can also use a four panel lid on it that adds about this much height. And I will have some photos of that on the website with the four panel lid. So it adds about that much height and it adds about uh, three ounces, I believe. So it's not very significant. Four panel lid, nice for mixing sizes. And also nice if you wanted to use the sun clips and just in general, if you want to have the ability to store a few more wet paintings, uh, you're going for a weekend or something, or maybe you're the kind of person that can go and crank four paintings out in a day. Four little guys, that's quite possible too. All right, that's it for me. And we'll see you around. Happy painting.